البنات حلا بنات Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Just going to wait for everybody to come on in. Hello, hello. Just have a slurp of my tea a minute. Good evening. Hello, hello. Nice to see everybody coming on board. Good evening. Hello. <clears throat> Just keep my tea back there <laughs> in case I get a dry mouth or something. I should be used to talking a lot. <laughs> I've got um, five sheets of paper here. A lot to get through. A lot to get through. All good though. All good. Don't worry. All good stuff. Good evening. I'm just going to wait about another minute or so. So yeah, just uh, talk about talk talk among yourselves for a minute. Uh, I just want to make sure that I get as many people as possible. Um, this obviously will be saved. Uh, so you can catch this at any time and also i'm going to um put it onto youtube as well so um i know there's a few of my clients that don't do facebook so i just want to make sure everybody's got uh, an opportunity to watch this so okay hello everybody good evening what a lovely day it's been hope you've all had a chance to get to uh, top up your vitamin d and all that yep nice Nice weather, nice summer weather that we've all, that we all need. <laughs> so, just going to give it half a minute or so. I do have um, 162 members on this group. So, um, I see 14 at the moment. So, I'm hoping that everybody has plans to catch up later. I don't want to miss anybody out. Good evening, folks. Good evening. Okay, just give it another few moments, and then I will crack on. I do have my notes in front of me. Um, just don't, I don't want to miss anything out, so I'll just, I'll refer to them every now and then. I'm not going to read from the notes. You know me, I like to ramble on a little bit, like to, uh, yeah, <laughs> talk. In fact, I'm very quiet normally at home. I'm very quiet. I don't normally talk a lot. Okay, so I'm going to crack on with this, and uh, if people join in, that's brilliant. If not, as I said, I'm going to um, save this. Before I start, this is good. This is all good, okay? This is not me saying that I'm throwing in the towel and I'm quitting and all of that. It's, that's not the, the, um, the reason why I'm doing this. The reason why I'm doing this is because when I spoke to you, I think it was around about the end of May, beginning of June time, I just said I want to be open and transparent with you and just to let you know what's going on with my business. Um, and then just sort of how I'm going to take the next steps. Obviously, the next steps are is to get my classes open. Um, but it's not as easy as that. It was so easy when we went into lockdown. Everything stopped there and then. Within sort of 24 hours, everything had stopped. It's, it's not that easy going back. And obviously, there's lots of restrictions, lots of considerations. Um, and things have changed. Things have changed. We are never going to be where we were in February, March time. It isn't, we're never going to be that way. Not, not, not just talking about here, real fitness, I'm talking about a lot of things. We're not going to be back to that. So I just need to talk to you today. Um, I need to be open, I need to be transparent. And I think the most important thing is that I need to manage your expectations. I don't want you to think that in September, I'm going to open all um, 12 classes again and everything could be back to normal. It, it can't, it won't happen um, like that. Not as, um, um, not straight not straight away anyway things have to be very gradual and we ha I have to do a very very careful calculated approach to this so um finding it extremely overwhelming at the moment with you know lots of things happening and changing and I as I said there's 162 people in this group I have 162 people that I need to, to try and please and with the best will in the world I'm not going to please every single one of you because changes will have to be made things that I think most people will be okay with but I just need to know that um, if your expectations are that you're going to go back to the same class at the same time doing the same things it's probably not going to be exactly like that okay so first of all um, I just really really and I need to do this first to thank you all for your support your love your engagement your feedback your loyalty and the respect that you have for your body as well. Many people have just given up all fitness, all health, everything to do with their body, 
and you guys know how important it is to look after your health and it's going to be even more important moving forward where we need to really look after our health our fitness our immunity so thank you very much for supporting and trusting what i am doing um Thank you also for being very patient. I think, as I said, we didn't know at the beginning how long this was going to be. I think when I closed down my classes, it was about the 18th of, of March or thereabouts, um, I was thinking it was only going to be a couple of weeks. Here we are, how many, four, four plus months down the line, and still we're not really certain what's, what's ahead. So just thank you for being really, really patient and embracing this group as much as you can. Also, thank you very much for continuing to pay. For your trust and belief that I can help you to stay fit, healthy, provide you with the information that you need so you can make those good, healthy choices. Um, thank you very much as well for allowing me to help you with your mindset and motivation and help to inspire you. There has been so much positive feedback from this group um, for me. Um, and you know, sometimes my head hasn't been able to fit through doors because it's like, ah, oh, this is just so good. Um, so, you know, thank you very much for believing in, in what I'm doing and continuing this. I also want to say thank you very much for those who have been continuing to pay, even if people haven't embraced the online. I know online is not for everybody, and I know that's the reason why you've chosen to come to face-to-face -to -face classes in the past, because they work for you, and this hasn't worked for everybody. And I have had a big group of people that have continued to pay, Hopefully, they'll, cap, they'll see this on YouTube if they don't see this on um, this group. So I just want to say I'm just um, just absolutely you know, honoured that you trust and believe in what I'm going to do and know that we're going to come out of this and Real Fitness is going to you know, prosper and, and grow forward. A little bit different to how I planned, but we're definitely going to move forward. Okay, but the reality is... I have had a huge drop in income, and I know this is not your concern, but I just need you to know from where I am right now, I've had a huge drop in income, about 50% drop in income, um, and today's calculation, um, over 50 clients have stopped paying, can't pay, stop paying, don't want to pay, um, all different reasons, some, most have approached me, some have just stopped, um, so I don't, I don't know the, you know, the exact reasons why. Um, this is the reality that I'm faced with, which is why I cannot go back in September and open up 12 classes. It, it's just, it's not viable. I'd last about two weeks and then business would, you know, I'd be in receivership. So there's, you know, I can't, I can't do that. So we, I am going to go back to classes, but it's not going to be the normal classes that we have um, had in the past. And I hate this word, <laughs> word, this new normal thing. We are going to go into a new normal with real fitness. Okay, you guys know I'm absolutely passionate about what I do. I'm absolutely passionate about helping my clients. It's all I've done from, 20, from 2013. Even in fact, when I was doing my training in 20, 2012, I knew this is what I wanted to do. And I knew this is what I wanted to do forever until I retired. And then I'd probably keep doing something in that sort of way as well. It, I eat, breathe, sleep, dream my business. Sometimes my business is like, you know, top priority that I kind of forget everything else that goes on in my life. I am absolutely passionate about what I do. I am not going to let real fitness, virtual fitness just fizzle away. I'm going to fight for this and I'm going to make sure that we have the best approach to getting back to classes as possible. So I just want you to understand that, that I am absolutely passionate about what I do and um, I am going to move this forward so we can get back to face-to-face -face classes but please please be patient with me please be patient don't think if your class doesn't open up in September that you're off just just please we've, we've done this four months it'll be five months by then just please bear with me because I'm going to do all I can to get everything back real fitness is my baby <laughs> I have three others but it is my baby and as I said I'm going to do absolutely everything to protect it and I'm definitely not quitting. And I want to get that message across. I tell you though, in the last you know few days, a few weeks, I have been this close to throwing in the towel, thinking this is not going to work. This is not going to work. How on earth am I going to balance my books from September onwards? What am I going to do? You know, I've been this close to throwing in the towel. But n no, I you know I need to really really focus. I can do this, and I'm going to do this. 
And it, what I need to, you know, remind myself is that I'm not going to be alone. Every other self-employed fitness professional out there is going to be in exactly the same position as me, where, you know, paying, on, paying five quid on the door to get into a jams class is, is the thing of the past. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's got to change. And, you know, luckily I've already got all my systems in place. You know that already. But, you know, things do have to change. My model has to change. My business model has to change. My financial model has to change so that I can move forward in these really, really strange times. So I'm going to have to review my membership prices. I, I don't know what exactly it's going to be yet because I need to find out what September looks like. So I can't tell you that. But don't fear. I'm not going to you know, double your membership or anything like that. I'm just I am going to sort of give you a heads up that membership prices will be reviewed to fit in with my new model. So rather than having, um, you know, a lot of people in a class, you know, bums on seats and all of that, it's going to be a different approach to my classes. So it's going to be smaller classes. It's going to be um, a more a more personal trainer approach, but in a class setting. So things will change from that respect. It has to. It, it has to. I cannot get, you know, a lot of people in a class. It's, it's, it, can, it can happen. Okay. We all know now we're not out of the water with this this COVID thing, um, and I believe that we have many, many more months, years of this. And I'm particularly worried, and I don't know whether I don't think I am um, exclusive here. I think a lot of people feel this as well. I'm particularly worried about what's going to happen over the next six months, over sort of now to winter time. And I know in the in, in the media where you know people talk about um, the the flu bug merging with covid and just having this this whole flu nightmare moving forward and, and as things ease as well and i know the government said it's all going to be back to normal by december <laughs> we don't know that so i have to really protect my business and that's another reason why i'm not going to come back all classes open because it, it could be like that and all classes closed you know it just takes one person to um tell me if there's you know that they've got covid symptoms and i'm going to have to retrace where I've been, and it just might mean that I have to close all my classes again. So I just really need to be careful with that. So yeah, I do, I do worry about that. Um, and also as well, the reason why fitness classes, indoor fitness classes, and gyms, and other similar sort of businesses are coming out of lockdown last is because we're classed as super spreaders. We are, you know, higher risk. We're, you know, breathing, every, you know um vapor everywhere where um um sweat you know there's just lots of things that happen um especially the sort of you know higher impact bouncy classes clubber size in particular um it's you know we are classed that so i do have to be aware of that but life goes on we have to move forward i have to move forward I hear what many of you are saying, that you want to get back to classes. I hear that, and I certainly i am going to do all my best here. As I said, life goes on. I mean, we could say, okay, everybody will stay online. We'll stay online for the next six months. Let's get winter out of the way. But you know, I think a lot of people are you know, going to get a little bit like, no, no, we can get back to classes. Come on, let's start to open a few. So I need to move on. I need to start thinking about what we're going to do. Um, so I think it's over this weekend, um, gyms and um, indoor fitness can go back and community centres are starting to open as well. Um, but I've decided, um, I think as you know, that I'm not going to go back until the 1st of, uh, of January, 1st of September, not January, 1st of September, I'm going to go back. Um, a, I've got two weeks coming up off, then a lot of things, a lot, in fact, a lot of my schools aren't letting me in until September a lot of the uh, halls I go to aren't even open until September, so there's not a lot of point in me doing much until then. So um, I'm going to, um, as I said, return in September. It's absolutely my plan. But please bear with me. Things may change. Things may change, and I've just got to keep my you know, ear to the ground and just to listen about what's going on. My intention is to open class, classes, a few classes from September 1, which is what I'm going to just fill you in on a minute. Um, so yeah, plan is, um, obviously I've got, um, lots of restrictions, lots of extra costs. Um, I've got also to think about, um, social distancing within the class and the utmost is obviously I've got to think about my safety and the people that come to my class's safety as well. So there's lots of things that I need to think about. 
Um, and, you know, I have no idea moving forward when all these restrictions are going to change. They may ease them a little bit by September. I don't know. Nobody knows. And even when restrictions are eased a little bit, it's still, it's really, really vague. So for, for safety, yeah, absolutely, I need to be careful. Um, uh, also, you know, I, I'm covered by insurance, so I need to make sure I'm doing everything right in terms of risk assessments um, for my insurance, because my insurance won't cover me if I don't do all of these as well, so I need to be careful with that. So as I said, things will change with my classes, things will change, there's going to be a new look, real fitness as we move forward, but at the heart of this is obviously all your needs, everything is your needs as well, but it's got to be workable, it's got to be viable too. Um, I can't make decisions knowing that my business will fail. I've got to protect my business. As I said, 162 people on this group. Um, that's a lot of people and I can't please everybody. So as I said, please, please be patient. So I have to tread cautiously and I have to kind of like proof my business. Um, I also have to go with my instincts and I have to do what's right for me as well. Okay, so I can't um, do lots of things that are going to please all my customers, but then at the, you know, it's not right with me, it doesn't sit right with me. Okay, so, um, last week, or was it this week? I can't remember, all the weeks are kind of the same. <laughs> I sent out a message, text message to, um, I sent messages to um, Fitness and Healthy Lifestyle members and Fitness Pilates. I didn't send to Club of Size and I didn't send to um, clients who've just come in on virtual. Um, if you've received this message and you're still sitting on it, can you please reply? I think I've got about, um, there's a list, there's about 12 people that haven't replied yet. If you didn't receive a me the, the text message from me, please let me know and I will do that straight away. Um, it's your thoughts on returning. So obviously I need to know your thoughts. If all the messages were coming back saying, no sir, I want to stay online, then obviously that's what I'd, I'd work with. But kind of what I expected, a few little eye openers there, but kind of what I expected. Um, so I'm going to use this information short term for my short term planning, um, but I'm not solely going to use this information. So don't say, oh, I replied saying that um, I want to get back to classes, but you haven't opened my class, Sarah. Um, obviously, there's other things. As I said, I've got to put that in. Um, so, yeah, other things to consider as well. Um, and um, they, obviously, the classes have to work. So, as I said, I need to manage your expectations. And just to reiterate, I cannot open all my classes straight away. A, it's not viable. Um, I've got more costs. I've got less income. Um, um, I can't fit everybody in. Um, and I need to sort of plan and tread cautiously. So the approach that I am going to take, as I said, September 1, my first class reopens. I'm reopening Hannam um, Tuesday morning, the 1st of um, September. I'm not going to give you all the details about that now because this is going to follow. I'm also going to open that week as well um, Longwell Green Community Centre, so two morning classes. That's the classes I'm going to open to begin with. I'm going to see how they work. I'm only opening those two. I'm going to see how they work and um, assess. If you come, fantastic. If you pay, fantastic. If you um, don't come, then I'm going to have to take a view on that. What, what, you know, is this, how, what is this approach? I mean, I can't have classes that open and people aren't coming. So if you say that you are planning to come back, then do come back. Um, um, so we'll continue to see as we ease out of lockdown, what I'm going to do next. Then at end of September, beginning of October, assuming people come, people pay, um, that my income <laughs> starts to go up a little bit and maybe some returners are coming back as well, then I'll consider opening two more classes and assess again another month later. So my plan is, and I cannot commit to any more than this, is to open six classes by the end of the year. And that's all I can commit to at the moment. If, if things go well, people return and confidence and people's patience is, you know, there and then I'll consider opening more. But that's all I'm committing to at the moment. But it will go month by month and people don't come to classes, people don't pay, I can't open any more classes. So that's, that's my approach so far. Um, um, just checking I'm reading this. So absolutely, the ball is in your court here. So... If you want to come back to classes, 
they're going to be there. At the beginning part, you're only going to be able to come to one class a week because I'm only going to have, um, in Hallam, I'm only going to have 16 spaces in, um, yeah, 16 spaces in the two classes because of social distancing. So I can't have one person coming to two spaces. So it'll only be one class that you can come to. So, um, yeah, so the ball is absolutely in your court and I will only open more if the success of the previous classes is, is working. Um, as I said, there will be, Rough Fitness will have a new model. It's going to be better. It's going to be a customer tailored approach. But please be patient and please be flexible. So if your class doesn't open at your time that you used to come, but you could temporarily come to another class, then do, absolutely do. Please be a little bit more flexible with this, especially, you know, if you're saying, yeah, my, I haven't done the, the online, hasn't worked for me, but I really want to get back to classes, but my class isn't open yet. I'll wait for my class. Do come, do come. If there's a space, do come. But don't forget, this is only going to be short term, but it's, it is only going to get better. Right, so... The good stuff. Moving forward, as I said, two classes to reopen from September 1. More details to follow on that one. Um, there will be certain things that you will need to do. Um, there'll be a disclaimer. You will need to book on. There'll be no, nobody can turn up. You will have to have your own equipment, um, et cetera, et cetera. There's going to be more things that we'll, we'll let you know about that. And then if that they are successful, everybody's happy, then I'll open another two. As I said, I need to be cautious. I need to proof my business. And then I'm going to sort of review. This will be 100% supported by online. I am not stopping online. Online is here for the future. Absolutely. Um, so um, it's going to be supported by online. We are definitely going to have online classes. And even when all of my um, classes are um, running that I think you know is, is the, the maximum, I'm still going to have online. At least three online classes every um every week every week i'm still going to do that and um so as more face-to-face -face classes open then i start to cut back on the online but there will always be three classes every single week the only time that's not going to happen is the three weeks over christmas and new year um <clears throat> so they'll always have that um and i'll give you details of what those classes are going to be um there may be a change to your time of your class and venue nothing radical nothing radical it's you know still going to be in the same sort of format as us um but i'm also sort of looking at my needs too as well um i've sort of i think i'm not alone here everybody's had a chance to sort of reassess their life a little bit um and to see um you know what they really want to get out of this and so i've had a good you know reassessment of my needs too um, I need to assess my exhaustion. I think this has, you know, pretty much killed me off. <laughs> this, this uh, starting from January and not having any break, and then absolutely having to do twelve plus classes every single week, full on, <laughs> plus all my other uh, activity stuff that I like to do. So I need to address my exhaustion so that I can, you know, be fit and well for you forever, and also needs for my family as well. Classes will look different. There is not going to be a little huddle and a chat anymore. It's going to be exercise only, but you will get all this information via online. So I'm not going to leave you without, you know, your weight loss information. Um, I'm going to talk through a, a different plan for those who are on a weight loss journey. So it's going to be two sections. We're going to have the section of people that just want to do exercise and get that good information, you know, just a little bit about, you know, healthy eating. And then we'll have the, the, the die hard, those who really want to lose weight and that's their goal. So we'll have those two different approaches. And I'm working on a specific behavior changing program to help with weight loss, which I really, really hope will be up and ready by September. So, um, OK, let me just check that I've gone through everything. Um, yeah, so as I said, yeah, I'm looking obviously at my needs too. Um, I need to address my exhaustion, my poor old body. It's just absolutely broken at the moment with sort of injury after injury. Um, so I, I will be taking more time away from doing as many classes as what I've done in the past. I will be doing that, but you will still be 100% supported because there will always be an online presence and there will always be other than 
I'm not even going to say how many weeks. There'll be a few weeks a year where there'll be no face-to-face, -face, but there's always going to be that online presence there as well. Okay, so this is a little shout out to those clients. Right at the beginning of this um, session, I said, you know, big thank you to those clients who have continued to pay, but have not embraced and not done any classes online. So this is for you, and I'm going to leave this with you to think about. So from when I get back from a holiday, which will be the week commencing the 10th of August, this is only those who've not embraced online but have continued to pay. I'm going to offer you two monthly private um, fitness sessions. So in a suitable location at a mutually convenient time for us both. I'm going to leave it to you to approach me, okay? If this is you, I'm not going to approach you. You need to approach me and we'll, I'll, I'll definitely find that time with you. Two um, a month and then I'll leave you with things that you can do as well. Let's take advantage of this lovely weather. So hopefully it will remain. So this will be for the three weeks in August and September. I'll be offering that. Okay, so do approach me. Um, I think the other thing that I mentioned as well is about classes being, some of my classes being super spreaders. Clubber size folks, your classes are going to remain online for the foreseeable um, it's an insurance thing, it's a club a size thing. I, I, I do not feel safe and comfortable taking club a size back out into face to face class at the moment because of the sheer nature of it. Live music, singing, dancing, shouting, darkened room, <laughs> getting close to people. It is, it, I cannot do a risk assessment to make those safe at the moment. Okay, so club aside, those two classes, Monday and Thursday, are going to remain online indefinitely. Obviously, I'm going to review every single month. So I'm not saying that this is going to be forever. I'm just saying indefinitely. So with club aside, we are definitely staying online. It's not that bad. I quite enjoy it at home. I think my neighbours quite like it too. So let's stick with that. Okay. Brilliant. So I'm just checking again on my list here. Um... Super. So let's recap on everything. I'm just going to just go back through all my notes. Okay, so obviously what I'm saying is, is that I am 100% committed to this. I am not going anywhere. I am going to do this fighting and screaming to keep real fitness and virtual fitness going. I am going to... Um, yeah, absolutely. Do my best to, to make sure that it stays. I'm absolutely passionate about what I do. I challenge you to find somebody else who's as passionate about their business as myself um, in terms of fitness. I really am doing the best for you guys, but I need to, obviously, we have so many constraints and new restrictions that it's not as easy as like, come on, everybody back had a humongous drop in income to the point where I'm actually making a loss now. So all decisions that I make going forward are going to have to be based on how wisely I um, utilise my money. Not for you to worry about, that's for me to worry about. But fees are going to have to change. There's always going to be an online presence as we move forward. Um, definitely the, the popular classes will remain online. So definitely fitness Pilates, definitely hit. Um, tone and conditioning, yeah, those will definitely stay online. I'm not sure what form or and how, but they will stay online for as you know, in, 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 indefinitely. They will definitely stay online. Classes are going to reopen from September one with restrictions. You guys have to come. If you don't come, I cannot open anymore. Be patient with me, please. Be patient with me. So if your class doesn't open, then I. Uh, I am doing all my best to get them back, but I can it's not viable. I cannot get back and open all classes from the beginning. I, my business will fail straight away. It will be unviable and I need to keep need to keep it viable. Okay, um so I think yeah. It, it it's yeah, as I said, it's it's we're not out of the water. I need to tread carefully, I need to proof my business, but life goes on. Life does go on and I need to really, really get us back to classes now. If you haven't re replied to the text or if you haven't received the text, please, please message me here, send me a text, smoke signals. However, because if you aren't saying how you feel, what you want to do, I'm not going to take it into consideration um, as I move forward. 
Um, Real Fitness is going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to we're going to move forward. It's going to be different. It's going to be better. It's really going to be better. I'm going to really fine tune, and I'm really going to make what I offer absolutely what you want. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me just check. I've covered everything. Brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to say this. Oops. I keep doing that. Uh, I said, I'm going to say this. I'm going to put it onto YouTube as well. Um, super job. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, lots of people watching. So I hope that's what you were um, anticipating hearing. As I said, I need to manage expectations. I need you to understand what I'm thinking. I don't want to be, um, you know, I don't want you to feel that I'm, you know, not telling you everything. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you all the nitty gritty of everything that's going on in my brain because that would be quite messy. But... I just need to, you know, let you know that I'm definitely moving forward. Definitely classes will return, but be patient with me. Okay, folks, I'm going to go lie down now. <laughs> Any questions, obviously let me know, and I'll see you. Uh, where are we now? I don't even know what day it is. Tuesday. I'll see you Wednesday morning. <laughs>